Hey kids, and thanks for joining me today. As soon as I learn about Math Mountains, I will be allowed to join the Math Mountain race. I am so excited to join the race. Can you help me learn about what they call a Math Mountain? Awesome, we are gonna have so much fun. Here we have what is called a Math Mountain. You can see that the two lines that meet up make a mountain. To understand a math mountain, it is good to know what each of these parts mean. We have three parts here. The top part of the mountain is called the total. It is also called the sum as well. The two parts on the bottom of the mountain are called add ends. Another name given to them is partners, but it is the same thing. The sum always gets put on the top. The sum gets separated or divided into two parts, which are the add ends. Now that we have covered the names, let's take a look at how to use a math mountain. Here we have a math mountain with 15 as the sum. The left add end is 5, and the right add end is 10. In a math mountain, both add ends added together will give you the sum. This is important to understand, so let me say that again. In a math mountain, both add ends added together will give you the total. So if I put a plus sign between these two add ends and add them together, we should get the sum. Can you tell me what 5 plus 10 is? It is 15. Great job, now you are getting the hang of it. What we just did was awesome. We made an equation from the information in the math mountain. We said in our equation that 5 plus 10 equals the sum, which is 15. This math mountain also works another way. Here we see a minus sign, which means to subtract. We can start from the sum and subtract one of the add ends to get the other add end. Let me show you what I mean. We start this time with 15, and we subtract the add end on the left. What number is the add end on the left? You're right, the add end on the left is 5. So in our equation, we have the total, which is 15, subtract the add end on the left, which is 5, and then we have our equal sign. What is 15 subtract 5? The answer is 10. Great job! 10 is the same number as the add end on the right. So if you start with the total, you can slide down the math mountain by subtracting one of the add ends, and this will give you the other add end. You guys are really getting this. This is amazing. Great job, guys. Let's look at a story problem to see if we can use Math Mountains to help me solve it so I can start my race. James has 12 toy 